Let's go ahead and continue on creating the joints for our drone. So in the last clip, we created all the joints for these sort of front pieces. Now let's go ahead and create the joints for this plate piece. So what we're going to do is make sure we are in our rigging shelf. We'll go ahead and select the create joints. We're actually going to snap a joint right around this vertex right here. So holding V down, we'll just snap it right to there. We might actually go ahead and translate that up just a little bit. All right. Now we want to create another joint for this back plate piece. So again, we'll go to create joints, hold V down and snap right around that vertex. So we've created these two joints here. Now what we want to do is actually establish a parent-child relationship for these two joints. So basically what we want to happen is we want to be able to select this joint here. And if we rotate this joint, we want the other joint to follow along with it. So to do that, we actually need to set up a parent here. So what we'll do is select the joint here at the back plate piece. And then we'll shift select this joint right here, the first joint that we created and then we'll press P to parent. So now we've established a parent-child relationship. You always wanna make sure that whatever joint you want to be the child, you select that joint first, and then you shift select the joint that you wanna be the parent. So now if we go ahead and press four on our keyboard, you can see that it's basically connected the two joints together. So if we select this first joint, you can see that that other joint is following along with it. Now we also have the ability to rotate this joint independently. So that will give us the flexibility we need to actually adjust this plate. All right, so now that we have the plate joints created, what we wanna do now is create the root joint. So this root joint is going to be really important for this drone object. Basically this root point is going to act as the main point of articulation for the drone. So anytime we move the root joint around, we wanna be able to have the entire drone move along with that root. So that means that all the other joints that we create will end up needing to be parented to the root joint so that anytime we move the root around, all the other joints are going to follow along with it. So to create this root joint, let's actually go ahead and jump to our top view. So we'll go to panels, orthographic, top. And we actually wanna snap this joint right to the center line of our grid. And if you don't see your grid, go ahead and go up here to the grid icon. You can highlight that to turn it off and on. So we wanna make sure that it's on. We're gonna to go to the create joints, and this time we're gonna hold X down, which allows grid snapping. So with X held down, we'll select right at the center here, and that's going to snap that joint right to the center of the grid. And then we can jump to perspective here. And you can see that now the joint is created right at the center of the grid. And what we'll do now is actually translate this up just a little bit so that it's more in the center of the drone itself. So right around there should work fine. So this is going to act as our root joint. Now we need to go through the process of parenting all the other joints that we just created to this root joint. So let's actually go ahead and begin with this joint right here, the first joint that we created. So again, we wanna make sure that we set up this parent-child relationship. So we're gonna select the child first, which is this joint right here at the lens. We're gonna shift select the root, which is what we want to be the parent. Then we'll press P to parent those. And now you can see if we select the root, it set up a connection between those joints. So anytime we move that root joint around, that other joint will follow along with it. And we wanna do the same for the other joints at the front. So we'll go ahead and shift select that root joint, press P to parent, same with this sensor joint, press P to parent, and then finally with this plate joint here, and parenting those. And then you can see this chain that we've created. So this joint right here, is the child of this joint. And then this joint is the child of the root joint. So you can see we have this sort of chain set up here. So we're able to control this section down here. And then also if we select the root joint, it will allow us to move all of these joints together. So now that we've established the root joint for our drone, what we wanna do next is actually go through the process of naming all the joints that we just created. It's really important that you make sure that you're going back and you're naming any joint that you create. You always wanna make sure that you're staying organized, you're naming everything that you create. That way, if anybody else is working on your scene, they know exactly what each joint does in the rig itself. So we're gonna go ahead and begin the naming process in the next clip. 